Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Uh, warmest welcome and thank you for making the time to attend the Labon IBFC's inaugural digital conference, Connecting Digital Ecosystems Asia or Code Asia 2019. I would like to especially thank the speakers and panelists who are with us today to share their insights, experience and knowledge on the challenges as well as the opportunities brought forth by digital innovations in the financial space. When organizing this conference, it was clear that the content of this conference would need to have an international flavor, considering the regional role that Labon IBSC plays as a wholesale intermediation center, including for the digital market space. Hence, we have speakers hailing not just from Malaysia, but also from other countries. More importantly, the audience comprises participants from all over the world. This will indeed bode very well for the furtherance of the digital market in Labon IBFC. Ladies and gentlemen, Labon IBFC's digital journey really began in 2017 when we started our innovative financial services with only eight licenses up to 2018. And since then, we are seeing positive take cuts on new digital financial businesses in Labon IBFC. For 2019 alone, more than 30 licenses have been approved to operate in the center. These businesses range from financial services such as digital banking and insure tech to digital intermediaries such as robo advisory, digital exchange, crypto trading platforms, blockchain tokens, as well as payment systems. The digital family has continued to grow in recognition of the progressive and market-oriented approach that the center has taken in embracing the digital revolution by being as facilitative as possible to enable innovative digital businesses to take root in Labuan. To this extent, the center has used legacy but flexible licenses like money broking, credit token licenses to provide the regulatory umbrella for the new digital businesses to be carried out. One can say that that itself by itself is innovation. Thus, the center has always, has always been having a ready toolbox of solutions to meet the needs of the rapidly changing businesses world, in particularly the digital industry. The critical key to these solutions is that any prospective business model must be legitimate and has met the necessary criteria for such businesses to be operated out of Labuan IBFC. Hence, while digital financial services are well supported and encouraged in Labon IBFC, it is imperative that Labon FSA, being the regulator and administrator of the center, ensures that these businesses are, undertaking, are undertaken in orderly and prudent manner. In this regard, prospects would need to obtain Labon FSA's prior approval for any pr proposed digital business if the activities fall within the ambit of the Labon Financial Services and Securities Act 2010 or Labon Islamic Financial Services Securities Act 2010. It is also required that these entities adhere to anti-money laundering and anti-terrorism financing standards to ensure that the digital setups are not abused for such purposes. The regulatory aspects of such digital businesses demand that the business is properly managed through, for example, having sufficient capital resources, having adequate internal controls, and having strong risk management and governance. These measures are needed to mitigate the many inherent risks that are brought about by the very nature of digital business, such as limited human interface, its reach, technological changes, speed, and even cyber risk. With this in mind, Labon FSA is developing a framework of regulations for the Labuan Digital Financial Business, which have been recently issued as exposure drafts for, the mark, for market consultation, covering guidelines on licensing requirements for Labuan Digital Financial Services and guidelines on regulatory requirements for Labuan Digital Financial Services. These guidelines will complement and further enhance the current regulatory requirements, particularly in the areas of governance, cyber risk management, and market conduct to ensure Labuan digital financial services are carried out in a sound, transparent, and professional manner in the center. 
Other than the digital market space, Labon IBFC is also home to more than 6,000 active entities, which include banks, insurance, insurance-related entities, trust companies, and many other types of businesses. As a business and financial center, Labuan has been positively regarded with, with its reputation as a well-regulated and business-friendly jurisdiction. We firmly believe that it will only benefit all of us here, the players, including the, uh, the digital players who are present here today, that this reputation is preserved to enable businesses to be sustainable for the long term. Therefore, Labon IFSA will need to be vigilantly, uh, will need to be vigilant to ensure that players adhere to guidelines and regulations to preserve the stability, safety, and soundness of the center. Ladies and gentlemen, having espoused on the need for good governance, I can assure you that Labon FSA will always work together with the industry to evolve the center's aspiration to embrace the digital wave. We will continue to engage with the industry towards creating a strong and sustainable digital business future, particularly for the Asian region. Recently, we had a fruitful and informative engagement session with all the fintech players of Labon IBFC on developments relating to the digital market space in the center. Arising from this engagement, a Labon Fintech Association will be established, which is akin to the other association of the players in Labon to further enhance the collaboration between Labon FSA and the players to develop and spur innovations in the digital space. Indeed, today's conference can also be regarded as an engagement session with the stakeholders of the industry. We all need to keep abreast of the new technologies being ad adopted, applications platform that are being built, and new business spaces to further value add to the business propositions and offerings of Labon IBFC digital market space. On that note, I thank you all once again for your presence here today, and I wish everyone a productive and insightful day ahead. Thank you very much.